you know it's um, a lot of rocks in here um, well this thing is starting to come together and uh, <coughs> I've actually got some pretty good results from this and uh, this can of balance is working a lot better than I expected now you're probably thinking that that's got you know I've tightened the nut I actually haven't I'll just put that off center there's actually quite a bit of weight on that that's actually balanced if it goes back the other way you can see it starts to tilt back but the idea is is that <coughs> it counteracts the weight of the actual device itself and so I can put very very light pressure on things like PLA when it's like two or three millimeter and get an idea of when it's going to bend especially when you're trying to make strong structures out of very very thin bits of PLA um, and I found out uh, <coughs> the other day that um, Bilby um, Bilby 3D actually make their own filament so that's uh, that's going to be interesting and uh, he also suggested that uh, I may be able to do my uh, nylon on my uh, machine uh, I've got a Creator Pro 2 with IDEX Flashforge Creator Pro 2 and uh, <coughs> apparently uh, that's not bad for making gears out of so yeah it'll be interesting to see if that works I've tried PLA Plus I went to try um, ABS and he suggested another one and I think it was ABA or something which is a different one altogether and apparently it's a bit easier to work with he said ABS distorts or it warps or something um, <coughs> Well, give me gun a run and uh, I googled uh, Ryobi it seems like I think Milwaukee walking board them out but I think they're gonna go for a while because it's not likely they're just gonna trash it all and just you know come up with something new those are gonna load it all into a dumpster so it'll probably work for a while before they replace them and I dare say they'll have compatible charges when they have Milwaukee walking and Ryobi will now probably be able to be married together it'll all integrate on, into one I suppose apparently <coughs> all eventually but uh, I give this gun a run and it was, uh, this is the drill and uh, yeah she's hot, nice and high speed and uh, it uh, it manages to power with the iron hell that I had <coughs> it did actually burn the, the battery out pretty quick when I used the drill on it um, and this one's actually uh, quite quick and quite, quite efficient with the battery I like the fact that it's got the multiple flashing lights to tell you what stage it's at like the uh, RC car batteries that's cool. It takes a fair bit longer to charge these batteries, but the iron hill, I believe, was <coughs> 1.5 uh, amp hours, and this is 4 amp hours. Um, but it's a higher power device. I think they, they rated the iron hill as, I think it was something like 54 newton meters. This is 230 newton meters. That's the other one. I think the um, the the driver gun for tightening up nuts and bolts and stuff. This is the drill. Um, <clears throat> but it's all coming together really well and uh, yeah this is uh, this is all coming together exactly like I wanted it's hard when you're designing scientific equipment it's trying to get the accuracy like if you get three millimeter PLA it's gonna warp like how it's gonna it's gonna start bending it like you know I put one of a gram so uh, I've got to have this to get precise measurements and uh, I've also redesigned my little gear and I'm just setting up something for that um, but uh, so far things are looking pretty good and I thought I might sign off with what's Grace Station here we go I love the shield she's grouse <laughs> Yeah, she's grouse, she's from Fusco, you can't have to tell by her accent, the fact that she swears like a trooper. <laughs> yep, she's from Fusco. <laughs> Alright, uh, so yeah, things are going pretty good. And uh, I did uh, comment that uh, Americans don't, the, the Americans do design things, but they're businesses, and they're million dollar businesses. Oh, I'll just try it over to me milling machine. I don't think I've ever met anybody in Australia that can afford to have a milling machine in their garage. Milling machines weigh about two ton. Um, you have to have a huge space to put them in. Uh, most of the time they're three phase. I mean, 
Uh, in America there's more money to be made, there's more people, but in Australia it's harder to make money. Most people in Australia don't buy houses till they're in their 50s to 60s or own them. They see most of their lives buying their house and they're still paying their houses off when the kids are like 17. Um, I'm, I'm very lucky where I inherited a, a, a house, but I did have enough money I've saved up. Um, what was it? Uh, uh, I can't remember now, I think it was 15 grand. Um, I had enough to put a deposit on the on the house. But anyway, I'm um, on the block of land. But uh, anyway, I'm, I'm pretty lucky and I'm, I'm getting to do what I've always wanted to do. This is looking really good so far, just for testing Young's Modulus and Bending Moment and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, Clive Rocksinger, and uh, I'm very happy with me near Royabi. Clive Rocksinger over and out.